We're also keeping an eye on the tropics. Hurricane Isaias with winds of 75 miles an hour. Again, we have been talking about the fact that it had started to weaken wind shear and dry air. Sometimes those players, which are huge in the intensity of a storm, are not always forecasted well by computer models. Forecast, though, still maintains that it will be a strengthening Category 1 storm as it gets very, very close to the coast of Florida. Whether or not it makes landfall is still very much an unknown, but something the folks along the North Carolina coast will also have to be watching very closely. We also have just because why not tropical depression 10. This actually was a very impressive looking circulation. If you're not really familiar with the geography, we usually don't zoom into storms like this. This is the coast of Africa. Here's Senegal and here are the Cabo Verde Islands. If this system does become a name storm, it would be briefly Josephine, but notice the forecasted track. It's really not going anywhere beyond the Cabo Verde Islands and will likely not even impact those islands. We also have another tropical wave out in the central part of the Atlantic with a 30% chance of developing as it gets maybe toward the eastern coast. However, it, most models are indicating that this little feature is not going to do much of anything as it'll likely probably get absorbed into a big upper level trough and not really pose much of a threat. In fact, as I mentioned, we may be going into a, a, a quieter pattern across the Atlantic for the first couple of weeks of August. So though it looked like things were kind of ramping up a bit, it appears as though things are going to be actually settling down as we head into August. And again, the peak of the season isn't until September 10th. 